Well, in the first year, you'll see the mushrooms growing right out of the inoculation holes. But after that, they appear all over the logs, cracks on the ends and so forth. And uh, as the colonization proceeds over several years, they'll, they'll become more and more numerous on the log. When you're uh, harvesting mushrooms, you would usually, uh, after you shock them, you would be able to uniformly harvest most of them in a single harvesting. Then what you do is you rest the log, and that means you just put it back on the stack. You might pick a few more over the next two days and let it sit there for another seven weeks or so. Um, by that time, it has sort of recharged and it's ready to be soaked again and flushed for a second time. And sometimes you can even get uh, a third flush out of the log in a single growing season. The question comes up, when should I harvest these mushrooms? Actually, these particular ones are kind of early. I would say, on average, these should be picked in three or four more days. But let me pick one of these mushrooms and show you. You can see the cap is rolled under here, and that it's even still attached to the stem, to the stipe. So that's a little early. In a few days, It'll be completely separated, but when the, the cap is still rolled under, that's ideal. And finally, when the cap flattens out enough so there is no curl like that, um, you're a little bit on the late side. Well, typically, uh, a log will last um, three to four years. That's uh, commercial production. The actual the log will continue to fruit for four, five, sometimes seven years, but the, the, the yield per log per year declines. So most commercial production stops after about three years.